Hey guys, welcome to day 113 of my carnivore journey. And um, I am gonna bring you guys a little bit of video um, here on this one. I'm gonna give you an update first. And then for those of you that want, if I'm gonna share with you the, so I basically made like chili dogs, my version. Bunless, they're just hot dogs and then basically meat sauce over top of them. But, you know, I wanted to do something like a chili dog kind of sauce. You know, that way I could feel like I'm eating chili dogs. So I got to say that the, this this recipe, it's not bad. You might like it. I'm probably going to adjust it and change it in the future. But I went ahead and filmed the steps of making the sauce. Now, this sauce is not fully carnivore. You can make it carnivore, and I'm going to tell you how. So there's a step in this recipe where you add about a quarter cup of tomato juice. Okay, so this is more keto. But you can substitute that with just water if you want. Now you can use just water and, you know, you can cook up your meat. And anyways, you'll see in the video. So just imagine substituting vegetable or tomato juice with water. Um, and then it would be like pretty much carnivore. But as far as this one, I wanted to try the keto version uh, since I'm mostly eating all meat and, you know, it was it was very little. But anyways, so mine is made with tomato juice. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, how was your day? I hope it's going really well. Um, day 113. Man, and we're like seven days away from our first 30 day goal. Today, I felt really good. Um, snack wise, I had two, as if I wasn't gonna have hot dogs enough, I had two hot dogs earlier today for a snack, uh, or like a lunch, I guess you'd say. But then I ended up getting a, like a small bag, you know, like the little, you know, it's like the small bags you get like at a gas station or something, of like, uh, I think it was like a two and a half ounce bag, I guess you'd say, of, um, of pork skins. So I just saw them and I was like, you know, I could go for some pork skins right now. I had those. And then I got home and I had four of the beef Nathan's hot dogs with that chili sauce. You'll see in the video how much it was. And as far as meat was, like I said, I'll have everything of what I ate in the description down below. But it was really like four hot, it was about nine ounces of hot dogs and probably like a half a pound of meat. I think I ate all together, maybe 60%. May, it could have been a little bit over half. I don't know, but roughly half. So that's how much I ate today. I do have my coffee. I want to say my coffee. Hold on. I'm going to try something. My, my coffee hasn't been tasting real good. I, I laid off the iodine for like when I was sick. Uh, because I wasn't sure. I heard somebody say that the iodine had made their throat a little sc scratchy. It was like in one of the comments at, at some point. So when I was sick, I was like, well, I better not take any chances. So I laid off the iodine. Well, when I came back, I, I didn't do the iodine, but my coffee was has been kind of tasting odd. Last night, I just had black coffee with the, and I did add the iodine in the black coffee, and it wasn't bad. Tonight, It's okay. I, I'm kind of. I just bought it too. That's what sucks. I just bought this, and it's it's Folgers, and I normally like Folgers. I don't know what it is, but um, I don't know, guys. Something's going on with my coffee taste here lately. But I'm gonna try to slug it down a little bit. I do gotta work my other job, um, so I would like the caffeine actually. But other than that, um. Everything's been going pretty well as far as the carnivore diet. Um, I would say that I really enjoy enjoy it. Um, there are still moments where I feel like everybody else out there is 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 doing this. It's like oh, everybody else can can eat all these other foods and enjoy and they and they talk about you hear them talk about how amazing these 
these dishes are or these desserts and like or hey man did you hear about this new dessert place you know they got this you know caramel triple fudge you know whatever bomb or some you know some inventive dessert and i'm just like and my my old fast self is like oh that sounds good and then i'm like can't have that and so it's almost like you feel excluded from society you know and you feel like you're on the outside because even though you guys that come to my video most of you we're all carnivores or keto or some version of we're all kind of in the same family but when you're out there in the real world it's it's like it's fewer and far between so you run into a lot more people that are eating like just normal or whatever and and it's tough because you you hear people all the time talk about how good something is and then all of those years of programming and training, you're just like, ah, oh, like, am I really on the right path? So it, it, it does have its moments and you're still going to feel like that. So don't fall into the society pressures. Stay the course. You're going to keep feeling better. I, I am happy that I, um, I didn't fall off the wagon today. You know, my family had hot dogs also, but they had them with the buns. They had everything else. And I made I made some chili, like my own version of chili, which I'm going to share with you guys. Now, again, I'm, I want to work on this recipe more. Don't think that this, I swear to God, if any of you guys make fun of my recipe, I'm going to be mad or my stove. Um... Because remember, this is just a work in progress. It's I just wanted to share with you what I did tonight because you guys have been asked me to start doing a little more like video, a little more different stuff. So this time I videoed what I did to make a quick chili. And it was kind of on the cuff. It was I sort of had to kind of make it up as I went based off of some old recipes. So I will work on it more and I will definitely share with you guys the next time I do a chili and the, the version of chili I do next time. But in any case, here is my recipe for my chili dog sauce that I threw together tonight. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, we need one pound 80-20 beef. And of course you're gonna do the Redmond salt, just put that in there. Now I want you to start browning it up, get it nice and brown. And of course, I use a potato masher to get it nice and small. Really, it's a really good tip. And then of course, this is really what you wanna get all the big chunks. You want it as small as you can, cause hot dog chili, you don't want big chunks. This is where we add the tomato juice or water if you want, you know, full carnivore. Now keep in mind, you are gonna add more tomato juice later. Tablespoon of onion powder, tablespoon of chili. And of course, I mean, that's, it, it, it seems like a lot, but a little bit, of, little bit of pepper. I use white pepper. So you just kind of get it in there. And then look, you can see here, you need more uh, tomato juice. So you wanna add enough juice or water until it gets nice and moist. All right, now I like to add a little dash of garlic. And of course, when you're done, just pour it right all over your uh, hot dogs and and then enjoy. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little quick recipe. All right, guys, welcome back from the recipe. I hope you guys like that. Remember, that was just for that situation last night. And I would also say that, look, there's a anytime you get to like something like uh, hot dogs or certain things that there is a thousand different ways you could do and there's a thousand opinions out there and everybody's like oh i gotta have it this way and i gotta have it this way i gotta have my hot hey more power to you though i hope you you have it your way trust me that that basic right there you can like add some mustard to it if you like a little mustard with your chili dog if you don't mind, it's all going to depend on what you accept in your carnivore diet or keto. So you can add a little bit of mustard. You can add a little more onion. You can add real onion if you wanted to do real onion. You could add 
all kinds of other spices if you really want to. I did them, and then as you saw, I ended up doing a dash of garlic. Um, I want to say, as a preface, I did go back and add just a few more. Like I added a little more chili powder, a little more, you know. But those measurements are, are they're going to get you in the right place. You just have to cater it to your taste after that. But anyways, guys, it's been a great uh, privilege and honor to be able to vlog to you guys. Thank you all again so, so much for all the positivity that you guys send my way. I love you guys, and we will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye. I didn't hit stop.